I have been using the Topping DX3 Pro Plus for a few days now, and feel ready to make a video review. I wanted to confirm a couple of things before recording this. First, you must be wondering, why did I buy the Topping DX3 Pro Plus? After all, I made multiple videos shitting on the Topping E30. Well, let me explain. I wanted to watch Dolby Vision movies using my MacBook connected to my LG C1. However, this is not possible as Apple only allows Dolby Vision to be played on the built-in display and the Pro Display XDR. It is ridiculous that this is even a thing, but luckily the LG C1 has the Apple TV app on its web OS. And a well-measuring optical DAC and headphone amp costs $200, so there's no reason to spend $6,000 on the joke that is the Apple Pro Display XDR. If there was a cheaper solution I would have bought it, but with an output impedance of less than 0.1 ohms, plenty of power, inaudible distortion and noise, and the correct filter implementation being filter 3, I thought why not try this out. I mean as far as audibility goes, this is essentially an E30 with a headphone jack and a volume knob. What difference does this make in terms of enjoyability? Well for one, the power button is really easy to use as it is a huge button. Switching input modes is incredibly easy as well as you just press the button. There's a little bit of wiggle in the volume control, but it's not the end of the world. Very rarely would not register when I would turn the volume up immediately after turning it down, but I could not replicate this on camera. I wish the volume steps were 0.5 dB throughout. Sometimes I wish I could set the volume between the 1 dB steps, but it is somewhat easy to adjust as 1 dB is not that much. Once you get above minus 10 dB, the steps become 0.5 dB, but this is higher than I've ever needed to get the DX3 Pro Plus for the Moondrop variations. One of the things I wanted to confirm was whether the auto on and off thing was fixed from the E30. Unfortunately, it was not. It still randomly turns on in the middle of the night. Thankfully, since there's no stupid touchscreen power button, it is really easy to turn off this product. You honestly never need to use the remote once it's set as long as you're just using headphones. Once the filter is set to 3, you never have to touch this again. Once the brightness is set to the lowest, you never need to touch this again. As far as accuracy with the remote, this is as bad as the E30. But whatever, as I never use the remote, this is not the end of the world. And for gain, I just keep it on plus 6 dB. Using it for watching movies, I never experienced any popping, crackling, or cutting out. Which some people have reported with topping products. Luckily, that has not happened here. The orange LED is still pretty annoying. When I'm watching movies, I angled the screen away from me so I can't see it. An inelegant solution, but it is what it is. I was wishing I got my hands on the Motu Ultralight Mark V, which has optical inputs but is also impossible to get. Then I remembered it is $600, and the Motu M2 is $200 while this is also $200. I'm still saving $200 with this, so whatever. Do I recommend the Topping DX3 Pro Plus? If you are only using a headphone amp with USB, my answer is no. Just use an Apple dongle, but if you need something to use with your TV, I guess this works. I'd like to give a shout out to Fofo, Sasa, Vsauce4, Noodle, Daniel Ginet, Wadyacre, Grumpy Kitten, Johan Faust, Marshadow, Nell, Kunda, and Sinevery. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. If you would like to support the Realist Audio Reviewer on YouTube, consider donating through paypal to one at gmail.com. Super chat donations in your comments. Join the channel membership for $4.99 a month for a shout out at the end of each video, as well as a special role in the Discord server with text to speech permissions. Or join the channel membership in the ultra active Discord server for manage emoji permissions, as well as a special red colored role. YouTube takes a bigger cut of the $4.99 per month, so supporting through Discord helps the channel more. If you want me to review a product, specify the product in your donation. If you would like to talk to people about anything audio related and much more without the fear of getting banned for no reason, Join the Apple House Sound Discord server linked in the description. As usual, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.